Yo, guys, we are back with game three about to uh, commence. Uh, oh, one second. I'll get your face back. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> guys, I, if, it, if it's anything like last game, we are due for an absolute banger. A uh, little Silver Scrapes action. You already know the reverse sweep impossible um, commencement here uh, for Team Big Diff Energy. Let's get us into the draft. Uh, they've already started it just so we can uh, be good with time. But we're seeing some familiar picks. Um, big Diff Energy, or sorry, uh, I don't know how I feel about how they started this off. McLoser's actually taking blue side this time. They opt into the Zai instead of the Lucian. We saw the Lucian prowess uh, in both games, and they decide that they don't even want it, and they want the Zai. They just said, don't worry about it. Um, Do you like the Melio or the Nami more with the Lucian? I'm partial to the Melio, but... Um, honestly, I like the Nami. It just, it's just okay. so much more upfront burst in the early game. Um, like the Milio gives a little more survivability, but the Nami damage is so valuable. Okay. But in this lane, oh, dude, Zyra Khan has some trouble. I'm not Come gonna on, lie. Thriller. Pick right Nami. here. This is your this is your pick, Thriller. Come on. Yeah, and uh, they ban away the Fiora this time. They say we don't want that, especially against the Galio. Mordekaiser. Now. Yeah. Do you think this is going to be Thriller Mordekaiser going top? We talked about a possible lane swap against uh, Slappy Joe. Mordekaiser is not a good pick into the carries that Slappy Joe played. But they did ban Gwen and Azir. Yes, they did. He still plays Vladimir, and I really, really wouldn't want to play Mordekaiser into Vladimir. Um, also, I don't think that could be a... It might be mid lane into Galio. Yeah, it could be flexed, yeah. Kha'Zix is going to be the jungler here to go against the Viego. So we'll see Sans Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix has been an absolute menace in recent patches. I do uh, agree. He is a little off theme with this with this draft just oh, a little bit. No. Oh! <laughs> what? It's going to be Thriller with the Mordekaiser mid versus Galio and then Poppy for Spooky against Riven. And if there's one know. champion that will stop Slappy Joe from getting fed, especially as Riven, it is Poppy. It's Poppy. I do know he doesn't play it very much, but also I don't think you need Midi to play it very much into Riven. You just press W yeah, and then run away. Even Draft is a banger. Not only are the games banger, but the drafts are banger. Now the Rakan and Galio have great uh, synergy. Um and Lucian Honestly, is I'm pretty Besides the Zaya, I like their comp. It goes all very well together. I guess the Zaya work goes well with Rakan, but I don't know. See, Zaya can be really nice against Lucian just because of not only being able to outrange him, but also because of the ulti. So like Lucian dashes in, you just ult, and then feathers pull back, and then your auto attack range is mm -hmm. higher than his. So you just auto auto him while he's rooted and he's either having to like try to point blank ult you <laughs> or just stand there and get killed. And Rakan I just feel like Lush, is like, just, ooh, it's scary. Isaiah's team, like cohesion with the team comp later is not going to be as high as Lucian's is though. Yeah, luckily she will have the ability to kind of like self peel and self kite where the rest of the team can go in. But I, I honestly could see something like a Kaisa being really nice uh, to be yeah. able to join the team as well as have self peel, whereas I is only going to be able to have that self peel. I but do don't think I do think you don't get the Zyra first Kong combo. Yeah, <sighs> can't be mad about that though. Yeah, but... I don't even know who like has the edge like. You just say you just see Team Big Diff Energy coming off like a massive like comeback win, and like does that bode well going into the game three compared to the game one stomp that McLosers had? Like the momentum would you would appear you would assume it's on the side of Big Diff Energy, but McLosers can also just think back to game one being like, yeah, we were stomping them, and then we stomped them the whole game, and then we won, and then game two so we were winning, but then we threw. It's Mordekaiser top lane. Ooh, what if 
So they're going to oh, have Thriller pilot the poppy They're going to have Thriller pilot the poppy. Against Slappy Joe. And then Spooky on the Mord mid. I like this changeup. I do. I think I would have liked Spooky more just on his Urgot into Galio, though. Yeah, he did play pr probably really well on the Urgot, but... Uh, you know, Mordekaiser's also a good champion against things like, per se, per se Galio... Um, yeah. just for the fact of like if there's a fight happening right look at their front line it doesn't exist Galio is their yeah. front line so you ult Galio and they're like oh crap what does Kha'Zix do what does Riven do Zaya and Rakan like what are they doing now like they don't have any they don't have a secondary follow up and that's what that Galio is so I agree conceptually taking them to yeah, Brazil totally. it's... it can be valuable I agree is like as a concept I just don't know if Spooky's champ like I don't know if Spooky actually plays Mordekaiser very much. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, we're about to find out. The champs he's played this season, it's like 150 games of Lowey, like 50 games of Urgot, and then like 10 games of anything else. Well, if I know anything about Fate Gamer Training Grounds that you cannot judge a book by its cover and i mean we thought last game was oh we gave, they gave him the azir and now he's ergot versus azir Azir's gonna get fed like and then it did do well but i mean the lucian just shifu was just popping and they give him it again they get the same bot lane and i mean i just don't like that i think i think you because it's also one of those things where they just played this bot lane Right, they just played the matchup, so they they're feeling very confident on the mechanics of those champions. They're feeling very confident in like the damage of those champions. So, it's, it's it's I like to always kind of like push people off of things that they didn't just recently play, especially if they popped off because it just. Let's just talk about Thriller for a second though, because I absolutely love that the man just said, "You're not beating us, Slappy Joe." I am just gonna personally stop it and not let you just win the series. Yeah, <laughs> like I I think that's really smart too because like, I mean both what Thriller or no Sans no Vertigo is master yeah and the Slappy Joe's master what is uh what is Thriller's rank? Uh, Thrillers I have no clue but I do know that Costco Rose is gold and and uh, Spookies is gold mm. but I have no clue on. But, thrillers. Yeah, regardless though, Thriller, we saw him kind of lane swap up against the Azir anyway, and it went really well. So, um, uh, again, Thriller we are is just, a high plat, low diamond. Okay. And um, we're again, we are just speculating that it's Poppy Top, right? Like, this very well could still be Thriller just because they could easily, because it's, it's not like Poppy's not great into Galio either. It's and, and and so you could easily just have Thriller go poppy mid, get absolutely bonkers fed against Galio, and then Mord can always be useful with his ult top lane, even if Slappy Joe is going to get strong. But the insta-lock poppy does make me feel like they were very ready for the Riven pick, and that's what it the does. matchup they wanted. But nothing's for certain. I am actually kind of surprised he didn't slam down the Vladimir, though. Yeah, especially with as much AD as you already have with Kha'Zix Zaya. Um, having some extra AP damage wouldn't hurt at all. Um, so yeah, I mean... Like, it's a good matchup into Mordekaiser. Like, I'm trying to think of top laners like, that you could maybe pull into it that would really punish it. I can't think of any that's, like, on the table, really. Hmm. Well, like, maybe maybe their champ pool randomly became things I don't know about. But. <laughs> I will say Kha'Zix versus Viego, at least recently, has felt very Kha'Zix favored. Oh, it's super Kha'Zix favored. Um, now, I do think it is it is uh, Vertigo favored player-wise, but... Hey, I don't know. Sans was able to pick up like four kills on a Warwick, so I'm afraid of what he might be able to pick up on Kha'Zix. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, he, but he also died several times. He did so also give over first blood to a Fiora, so that didn't do them any favors. But well, no, no, uh, I, I do not disrespect Sans' abilities to get kills. I, I will disrespect Sans' abilities to get kills and not die. <laughs> hey, wait, and to be fair, um, we also just saw Vertigo with clean smites throughout the entire game, outsmiting like I think two dragons. Um, yeah. That's why I pick Kha'Zix. You can't outsmite Baron, 
um not even letting there be a smite fight at the elder like really really good stuff from vertigo there um but we're loading into game who's your pick for the dub Ooh, i really as far as comp wise goes i really have no clue in what i would like i would enjoy mclosers winning it but in my heart of hearts i feel like it's team big diff energy that's fair i do think when it comes to like we've seen a lot of prowess from the mclosers and through uh you know the regular season and how they were able to play um i think it's very possible that they might have just a slight advantage when it comes to team but obviously that didn't matter last game and compositionally speaking i could even say this is a toss-up i mean like how yes. how do any of the play of the players on mclosers engage a fight poppy presses w and then they're, they're just done it's just a, they can't do anything she just blocks every single cosmic jump nah riven jumping nah justice punch nah rakan w jump duh. nah nah not thriller is at the top lane in this game also they did, so they did they do the swap swapping interesting doran's ring start for the mord here uh i'm not upset about it especially into a galio uh doran's ring heals not quite as much as uh shield obviously but it still does do healing sure but you're not really like killing this guy uh spooky might think he is <laughs> that's fair that's fair that's fair and honestly he has went grass i'm trying it over conquer. Uh, grasp is wrong. Grasp is like, Over completely conquer, wrong. I will, I will agree there. Just conquer all day long. Yeah. You know, it could always be no. one of those um, rec rune recommender things. Uh, I don't think. I think conquer is just the recommendation on him, even. I'm sure there are some situations where it's grasp. Uh, uh, no, because all the tanks you beat naturally. You don't need the. So maybe he thought it was he, he was against the ribbon. Oh, they were just fighting top lane. And, uh, yeah, that should be what happens. He went cleanse this game. Um, I also don't really like the cleanse here. Like, I don't really, know. Unless um, you're a pro player, you're probably not cleanse flashing Rakan RW. If I'm being honest. I, like, I love I love my boy Shifu. But if he's, if he's confident that he's able to pull off the cleanse flash every single time, then, hey, I better see it. I better see it every time. Show me it. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're kind of just um, again, again, again. It's like the point of this these picks are to get early leads with Lushinami. Um and cleanse is notably just a better late game scaling summoner spell than something like heal or something like ignite. Um, I do, I do think Spooky's feeling the lack of conquer. Yeah, I mean, he could just take so many... Like, he could just win every single fight. Like, he just pulls him in, and then he just runs him down, and he would just win it. But now he has to take short trades against the Galio, which is exactly what Galio wants. <laughs> so, yeah. Top lane's already a good for this Misfit Poppy. on the runes here. See, right now? Oh, just proc your Conquer and run him down. Oh, Viego's here! Oh, they force out the flash from Slappy Joe, and this is the time that you want to be pathing top. I love this pathing from Vertigo, even though... You are neglecting your Lucian Nami. The way they've played this lane so that they aren't just going to be shoved up super hard is good. But the wave is bouncing back and Kha'Zix is looking for a possible lane gank. Uh, so this is where you need to see them play it super safe. Have Vertigo recall and immediately run bot. You should instantly know that Krugs. something's going to happen I would have skipped Krugs. Maybe I wish Vertigo, instantly or, does Vertigo it now. Skip Krugs or he goes back top space. because he knows there's no flash. But either way, something needs to happen here. Oh, Shifu, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Oh, I feel you so either bad just draw for shape. Vertigo. Don't fall for it. <laughs> oh, they ward it. And the exhaust oh. comes out. But he does a great job to deny it and a bubble. Oh, my God. They're turning around 2v3. Oh, but Samira can't even find the blade collar route either. And they Shifu get and just Josh out. And I think we're just better than you. Great mechanics from Shifu. Hey. Maybe that cleanse flash is going to be useful. He didn't cleanse the exhaust, though. If he instant cleanse that nope. exhaust, he actually probably turns uh, the kill back onto Rakan. So. Or Ignite. Could have done it, too. Just saying. Um, <laughs> the use this lack of, of Conqueror feels terrible. Uh-oh. 
Uh, there's so many fights where it's just if he has Conqueror, I think it's yeah. just over. Oh, Kha'Zix comes back, but they have a great... Oh, bait it. Bait it. They've got Vertigo here. This is the bait of the century. Oh, and the flash is committed. The stun can't quite land. Just Josh gonna flash out for now. Vertigo doing some damage, trying to finish them off. Shifu doesn't have any more mana though. If he committed the flash stun onto the Rakan, they could have insta-killed him and turned and picked up the kill, but they greeted it. Never greed, guys. Never, oh, he picks him out of the turret. Conquer kills, by the way, just saying. Yep. <laughs> 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 just say that every time just hey, i'm gonna conquer, have no comment him. from mid lane besides conquer <laughs> yeah poppy uh -oh. tping up top riven shouldn't have to um wave should just meet back in the middle unless they're alert uh, oh. this is, this is oh. going exact oh he lost the freeze off that too yeah we'll see if shifu decides to go with the same build he went last time Getting a Dirk rush because he will have enough money for a Dirk on his first back here. Keep you back but he will also have Galio. enough for a BF sword. So he could just rush Storm Razor if you or sorry, um, Gale Force. He could rush Storm Razor also. You what? He could rush Storm Razor also. I mean, he could, yeah. But knowing how he played last game, he didn't build a single Storm Razor, so I don't know if that's something he uh, likes. Oh my God! Imagine <laughs> he's just dead. <laughs> He's like, just dead. You just don't take get to him do those. Brazil and he's dead. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Can the Rakan find the double knockup? Only onto one, but the Blade Caller's there. Good da flash away from Shifu, though, to make sure he Good doesn't flash. get rooted up. Hey, yo, Sinathon, my boy Sin. Oh, look at this. Thriller. Ha <laughs> ha oh. ha. Oh. We got a mix between uh, Masters and Gold. High gold, low masters, and a mix in between. Hells yeah. And honestly, Thriller has done a great job negating this ribbon. Oh, the counter gank from Vertigo. Do they expect this? Oh, this could be massive. Vertigo got... is just like. Oh, and he sneaks into perfectly. the. Oh, I don't know if he snuck into it. I think they. Did they see him? They spot him. I don't know. I, I thought he was not spotted. Oh, but I don't even... Th I think they know they lose 1v2. Yeah. Oh, but Rakan has shown. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, but they're just going to instantly oh. go on him to stun the knockup. First blood going to go over to Vertigo. The knockup is here, but it was almost a bait from Rakan onto their own teammates, giving the the Riven a little false hope. And a great counter gank is there from Vertigo. And Kha'Zix spam pinging the Riven. Hmm. That's definitely not the way. Is there some tilt going on? To, to make the ribbon win. <laughs> ha. Huh. Where's my spot on the analyst desk? Where you been, buddy? Uh oh, wait a minute. There's a flash and a ghost. They're gonna kite this one out. The bubbles flashed away from nice blade color, but the cleanse is there to. Base. I mean, the root was done. But this is what I'm saying, bro. These cleanses. Why are we taking cleanse, bro? Uh, just joshing, trying to kite this one out. Does no sums are available. Um, is gonna land the bubble. Galio is just gonna come in to save the day. Little preemptive, I think it wasn't very needed. Um, but Coscaro, that's what he does. He makes sure that the team is always safe with this Galio. He, he plays for the team in more ways than one. Yep. Uh, Thriller My again. Just... Who cares? I'm here, dude. Like, okay, interesting. The chain vest rush. Normally, you see people going like tabbies or something, but he says not. Nah. Oh, he's going my. straight. He's, just he's gonna going. Kill him. Oh, he forces a flash. Does he, did he not have his E up? He did. Hmm. Yeah. I think he's just he's flash going straight e auto into the Frostfire and Gauntlet or whatever it's called now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to go for the Iceborne for sure. Um, but he's rushing it very hard. I guess he just really wants to be able to run him down. Um, boots could help that. Um, and Savvy's are just really good against their whole team anyway. But um, wait, maybe let's just see. Maybe he went Cosmic Footwear for some reason. Your, your magic. He did. He did go like... Magical Footwear. Uh, I was like, maybe there's oh. a reason he's not getting the boots, and there you go. No, no, no. Oh. The, the Mordekaiser was the pick into the Galio, actually. Oh, gonna find the quickness and the grand entrance. A lot of damage. The heals are there, though. Shifu trying to turn it around. Nice sidestep, but the Blade Caller, or the Feather Storm, barely gets him right at the end. Oh, the ultimate is there. Thriller. Oh, nice use of the W, the steadfast presence. He, Thriller trying to run away, but he can't. And Sans is going to pick him up. Vertigo can't find it either. They pick up two kills, and it's all said and done, and they even out the gold.
That's what I mean. Okay, I thought you meant like Galio was counterpicking. I was like, no, 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 no. The Mortiquizer with grasp. <laughs> um, Should've yeah. Conquer. Could have killed him like three times. <laughs> Could have killed him three times with Conquer, but hey, you know he's <laughs> he's gonna be tankier because of the grasp. So that's not nothing. It's not nothing. You know what, Manky tankier also, six hundred gold. Hmm. That's true. You're not wrong. I mean, I guess it's six items. The grasp does make you tank. Yeah, here, see, but... <laughs> once see, at, he's thinking of the long con. All right, once he's full build, who needs gold? You can't use gold, but you know what you can use? HP, grasp, grasp <laughs> HP. Let's see, what did he get? What, 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 what Rally's he first. Get? He also went revitalize. Yeah, second win. Loving it, loving it. Oh, hello. What just happened? Legend tenacity, seventy six percent. Towards his next stack, my god. Um. I mean, oh, he did go with the BF and Dirk. Wow, he actually had a lot of gold on that pack. He did. Uh, Shifu probably could have killed Ooh. some people if he would have recalled a lot earlier. Um. He must have been sitting on like twenty four hundred gold. My he god. must have. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> he's been real sharp with the uh, ease dashes away from Arcan W though. Yeah, he's barely getting hit by them. Uh, only time he's, I think he has been hit was uh, from the quickness charm which imagine if he had cleanse for instead of using it on the blade collar after the root was already expired just saying uh but you can't win them all um they do have a lot i mean honestly i'm down to just take a fight here you've got cleanse and flash samira has no sums and her feather storm isn't up like jump in go crazy go brazy have they spotted kha'zix recently though because they're acting like they're pretty concerned about that I feel like they don't have any vision on him. That's fair. No way we're flaming Shifu, my goat. No, we're not flaming. We're just uh, talking about his misplays and how he could be playing better. <laughs> oh, the buffer, Shifu but it also doesn't really it. count as a buffer. Oh, he goes into the death realm to Brazil. He goes, Koskoro, he flashes after him and he's just going to go down. He says, who needs Conqueror? My grasp will do it all I need. The uh, quickness comes in though. The grand entrance, Nami going to get exhausted up. Just joshing with a huge title storm, but the feather storm is too much. The blank collar finds it back. Shifu is just trying to turn it back. Sans going invisible. Spooky has shown his face. The flash is there. Shifu going to almost pick it up. Spooky picks up yet another another one slappy joe he's got the ultimate if he really he's wants to show the blade of exile is available ah uh, spooky didn't quite have the rileys just yet to run them all down bot lane um but you know he gets he gets one worthwhile tp in my eyes oh he doesn't get the plate oh, ff's going one. next ff's going next 19 hp just auto with your passive auto with your passive go 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 oh my wait a minute oh did 14,000 damage. Uh, okay. Don't want to use Copy. that steadfast presence willy-nilly, though. It should it should stop Riven from getting her shield. If the E gets interrupted by something, it should just not give the shield. Agreed, agreed. That's fair. <laughs> TP is available for the Poppy to get back to that top lane stat. Uh, Rylai is now completed for Spooky, and it's going to be hard for these melee characters to be running away from that guy. Again, would have loved to see Conqueror for those team fights, but he just wants to be a tanky boy. Um, and Slappy Joe, he says, I'm not going to use any of my dashes, buddy. I've learned my lesson. Uh, another plate going down bot lane. He's going to be getting that Gale Force very soon. Oscar, uh, oh, the man and the myth, the legend, roaming down bot lane. Yeah. He's, oh, wait a minute. The Blade of the Exile is there, but going to use the ult. The knock ups to coming in, and Vertigo has shown up as well. The Heartbreaker won't find anything. Get knocked up. Everything's going their way, but Slappy Joe going to get taken down by the passive, and they're looking for more. He has now taken Riven's body. Can Sans do enough? No, he can't. It's a double kill for Thriller on the Poppy, and this is exactly why they went with the lane swap. They got him the counter pick, and he's showing up for big diff energy. Thriller says, I got this, oh, man. Oh, no feather storm. No feather storm. Oh. The bubble. <gasps> Shifu. Oh, he's going to flash away. Feather storm now available, but oh my God. 
Galio sprinting bot lane. He literally says, I don't care about this guy. I'm just running bot. He just eat past, eat past him to get there quicker. <laughs> yep. I love it. Well, the Dustblade Kha'Zix is an interesting one. I know Yobus doing was nerfed, lot. but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm st I've seen way too much Duskblade recently, and I just think Yomu is way too good still. Like, Duskblade's fun, and it, I do think it's good on some champs, but Yomu is just way too good, man. Well, they didn't take away the 30 lethality like, on Yomu, and they didn't take away the active being 45 seconds, so till they do that... I'm well, all about the Yomus. Wait, they took the they took the passive lethality away from Yomus. So. Did they? Oh, yeah, okay. they, they, they instead of it being like 20, now it's just like 12 or 18 or whatever. It was 18 or 20. Now it's like oh, okay, bye. But have a good time. Uh, just instantly murdered. Uh, Slappy Joe not having a fun time against the Poppy. Um, yeah. Uh, but Poppy this is, is be just about as fun. Dragon number two. Don't think we're gonna see any steal attempt from Sans. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, again, like the nerfs to Yomu's definitely make it less broken, but it is okay, still yeah. strong, especially it with champions like Kha'Zix on the Rengar. Um, I love it. Still a great item. Still should buy it. Uh, Duskblade is pretty niche. Um, really great on some champions, not so great on others. Uh, the quickness is gonna oh great ultimate Good to buffer. try to just get out of that one. Kalskaro, ooh spooky taking up some damage and they can't quite find Vertigo. Uses the heartbreaker to get out, but now Rakan with no ultimate available and they are just so strong that again. they can just walk in and do whatever they want. Rakan gonna have to use that quick or uh, grand entrance over the wall. Mandatory conqueror plug. Yeah, imagine if he had conqueror there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been another dead gal. Dude, every, what every does time Slappy autos... Joe do here? He, I think he's dead. Uh, I actually think he's dead. He doesn't have flash. Thurlock can just dive him here. Oh, he doesn't commit. He doesn't have flash himself either. But like, Thurlock took no damage and did 70% of Slappy, Slappy Joe's. Joe's. And Shifu is going to do a lot of damage. The calling is there. The Feather Storm not going to be able to find anything back yet there with the Blade Caller. And Shifu just kiting that out perfectly with the Relentless Pursuit, with the Gale Force. The calling just doing so much. And Cosgro, oh, buddy, you didn't see him. Spooky showing up and into the Death Realm. What? Into the... Nope. Into the Death Realm he will go and instantly gets taken down. But Shifu goes under the turret. He does pick up uh, the Zaya, but he's going to get knocked up under the turret and go down to Rakan. But when it's all said and done, it's a two for one. Poppy did commit the TP a little unnecessarily, I might Very add. unnecessary. And um, Raven gets a lot of back off top lane off that. I really would have wished to see Spooky instant TP top here to have stopped this from going down. But uh, he does not. And Riven stacking up that Ravenous Hydra is actually going to be very massive. Uh, Bramble Vest, hopefully Thriller gets that item soon so he can continue to Going Demonic Embrace on, Gal er, on Mordekaiser this game. Huh? Uh, he's not going Jack Shows on Mordekaiser. He's going Demonic. No, he's going uh, Riftmaker. Riftmaker, oh so yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, I like it. I like Riftmaker on Mord. I think it's lit. But it's weird to, not, to do it without Conquer. <laughs> it's weird to do it without Conqueror 1, and it's weird to do it into this team comp also. I mean, they do a lot of damage, so having a tankier um, Mythic with being with, with Riftmaker feels a lot yeah. better, I feel, than... Um, than Jack shows? Um, in terms of, like, because he heals a lot more, mm -hmm. right? Where yeah. they don't... Like, they do... They do burst, right? On this team, a lot more than they do, like, yeah. extended damage, which... Jack Show is a lot better with the extended damage because of how the passive of Jack Show works. That's a dead ribbon. Um, I don't that think is Jack Show is bad, by the way. I just I do like Rift Maker. He's fed. He's feeling himself. Uh, he's gonna TP in and then instant. Why not just TP to the turret? Uh, they're gonna drop the Herald, but they're looking for more. Vertigo is gonna come in on the side. Coscaro gonna get the Justice Punch onto one. The Tidal Wave gonna connect onto two. Coscaro taking a lot of damage. Can Shifu figure it out on the backside? Sans goes into that ultimate. Gonna take down Shifu. A lot of damage. Just Joshin is also gonna get taken low. One more should do it. Double kill. The Galio ultimate's gonna force the flash out of Thriller. The Flash Grand Entrance comes in, but is it gonna be enough to stun it? 
into the wall, the poppy damage, Spooky picking that one up, and they're gonna go for more, into the death realm they go, double kill for Spooky, now 5-0, and oh, and Vertigo tries to go in for more, but it's the flash from Slappy Joe, shut down onto Vertigo for the Kha'Zix, and Spooky is trying to run for his life, great steadfast presence, the pullback doesn't come in, shut down for Samira, massive gold change, but Thriller picks up a kill on the backside onto the Riven, it's a massacre all the way around. What did I just watch? I have no clue. I have no words for what we just watched. There was like, it was, this is what keeps happening. There's no such thing as a premeditated fight. It's just, we're... It's just a fight. Oh, hey, people there, fight. Yeah, it's, it's just that we TP'd here. into a bad spot, had to immediately flash. My and then goodness. Just fight it out. Whew. Um, oh. Well... Prowler Let's see what's up. now completed. Uh, San's gonna be pretty strong now on this Kha'Zix. Uh, does go Dark Harvest over the first strike this game as well. I really uh, think McLoser should really fight this, actually. And they shouldn't let them have it. Yeah, I don't think they should give... I mean, they just got a huge influx of gold. No reason to give over. I mean, a lot of flashes well, and ults were committed, but... Uh, Zaya has Flash and R up, and there's no Flash on Lucian, Nami. There's Zaya's no Flash still on anyone on... mythic list, though. Going for that Navary Quick Blades. Uh, not gonna find that item just yet. Um... I mean, Kha'Zix, no flash, so Steel's kind of signing his death warrant. Um, it's just like there's a lot of R's and flashes down on the side of Big Diff oh, And they're split. I hate when they're split like this. It can either be really good or really bad. But Slappy oh, Joe, press? oh, they're just going to turn this spooky. Needs to go into the death room, but he doesn't have it. And he's going to in instantly shut down. And they're going to try to go for more. Slappy Joe is going to get instant killed. The Heartbreaker doing so much work. Vertigo is still looking for more. They can't quite find him. And they're not going to be able to even go into the dragons. Now, 4v4, though. They have no idea that Sans is in here. He's gonna jump onto the Nami. One shots are gonna jump away with the reset. Koskoro kills Shifu as well. He just one shot him. And they're gonna go in. The grand entrance finds the damage. Vertigo running for his life, but no flash, no heartbreaker. But he should just get to his turret. And the dragon should be able to go over to the McLosers. Just like you said, they needed to fight this and they found the angle. Really interesting in the cross core not orring uh, Slappy Joe there, but ended up working out in the end, I guess. Who not orring Slappy Joe? Uh, Koskuro had R the entire fight. Oh, <laughs> I guess he was like, "Yeah, you're dead, bro. I don't care." Yeah. Oh, and six Riven. I don't care. <laughs> well, no, I just would have gave lots of spacing for the Zaya to. Well, yeah, too, but you know what? Zaya I think he's just side. saying, "I'm gonna play around my Fed boys." And by fed boys are me and <laughs> my Kha'Zix. He went Night Harvester. Yeah, he one-shot the Lucian there. That was disgusting. The man said, supportive of the Galio build. Who cares? Night <laughs> Harvester. I may. And, he, and he's actually farming really well this game comparatively to the yes. last games that we've seen him play. So he said, I'm going to stop being so supportive, maybe play for myself for a change. And somehow that's ended up in both mid laners being incredibly strong. <laughs> thriller said i'm gonna go top lane and deal with this slappy joe and then koskaro stepping up saying hey but you're not here to deal with me anymore exactly they didn't think about that they thought hey we need to deal with slappy joe they they didn't realize that thriller was holding koskaro down this whole time can somebody take that red buff please lucian please uh but yeah spooky working towards zonia's most likely now um that'll I be like that might be, that might be going into boots I have no clue what he's building next. I think that's going into Ninja Heavies or mm. state, plated steel caps. Sure. He still should go Zonja's third, though. <laughs> he should, yeah. Like, they, their, their team is so AD heavy, and if he gets CC, like, if he, if they jump on him, if he can Zonja's and kites things out. Oh, Samira, a.k.a. Zaya, getting taken low, but the Featherstorm is nice, but can't quite find the blade caller. The jump in doesn't quite get it. The grand entrance, the quickness. They're going in with everything, though. Koskoro with the hero's entrance. They got a grand entrance and a hero's entrance, and they take down the Nami, just joshing. Dead. Thriller, though. A lot of CDs. Got something to though. say? Can't get in range for the E. Um, 
Shifu, half HP, and Sans is ready. He's finding the invis, and he just one-shots him! This is not even isolation damage! And Sans looking for more. They're gonna get taken low. Thriller trying to kite this one out. He's got the ult. He's gonna knock it back. The flash from Sans is gonna get him low. He's gonna jump over. But, oh, the shutdown actually gonna go over to Koskoro. Into the death realm they go, but Spooky can't even find the kill. Vertigo, though! He's got the Heartbreaker! Here come the resets, but he can't find it! The roots are there! A lot of damage! Vertigo takes the ribbon he can't get the heartbreak of the taunt the shield of Durant is too much and Coscaro literally just 1v9ing these fights obviously the teammates are helping out but just taunt after taunt knock up after knock up just playing it so well and they're gonna be able to pick up the baron and they only lose one Kuro stepping up on and off the rift maybe they should have been banning this guy's galio my god yeah. And he, he actually goes into a... He has an abyssal, abyssal mask. mask. I don't know what for. There is no way that that's good. There's no okay. way. He has solo AP on his team, and there's only one AP on the other team. It's not good. I could probably spell out the thought processes of he picked up the... Negat or is it, what is it now? Negatron Cloak or whatever that cloak is and picked it up for the lane matchup versus the Mordekaiser. And then was just like, what builds out of this? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. That. As that. that definitely is what like the thought process. Feels oh, like. I think he is going demonic brace third on spooky instead of, uh, the, uh, like Zanyas, So, well, he'll deal more damage, but he's not going to be, uh, surviving any, any longer. Well, it's not going to matter if he keeps Ring. Uh, recon. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Um, if you guys want to know how to continue to keep up with Fit Gamer Training Grounds, I'm going to give you guys a quick little... Bro, where's the... When's the next season, by the way? Oh, wait a minute. Big damage coming out. Spooky can't even get the ult off, let alone a Zonny's if he had one. Um, and they picked that one up relatively for free. He does not have TP either, but he should be up in time for the dragon. Um... But yeah, if you guys are interested in joining the training grounds, uh, I don't have a, an official n uh, date or time or anything about when the next uh, league is going to be. But join that Discord and keep up to date and join the Fit Gamer uh, fam. Also, if you guys haven't already, you're trolling. Y'all follow me at the K Man LOL. Kind of a smurf. Just Joshing's dead. I don't even know why you're flashing. Uh, unlucky. Um, but yeah, hit me up with that follow, guys. Great God tier ca caster right here. You already know. And we got the K-Man so, Cup, July 16th. Signups will be coming out soon. Don't worry. Free to enter tournament. Win some money. Any rank. Kaskur and Sands putting this game literally on their backs. <laughs> yeah, they're like, dude, we're, we're done, like, losing. The, the last game was a fluke. Oh, he's gonna R, he's gonna Grand Entrance. Oh, we, I think he thought he had Flash, maybe. Cause like there's no way that RW is ever landing. So I think I think yeah, I thought he had flash. The way he was like setting that up, I think he thought he had flash, and I think that I think he thought he had flash. <laughs> How do you deal with this Cossacks as do you just have Mordekaiser press R on him? Uh huh. How 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 does Team Big Def Energy even deal with this Cossacks? I feel like like Mordekaiser just has to see him and press R. Um yeah, but then he's going to be isolated and he's instantly going to die himself, so. Well, yeah. That's why Zonyas so would be building, nice to try to. If he was building as Zonyas, we were talking about. Yeah, if, if he went Zonyas, he ults Kha'Zix and then just delays inside the Death yeah. Realm. That, and that's then the hopefully his team there. murders the other rest of the team, so when the Kha'Zix comes out, it's just unplayable. <sighs> um. Cause... Yeah, I mean, they can slow it down if they want, but the is only going to get stronger. Cosmic is only gonna get stronger. Um, the 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 relative strength of Poppy is also gonna fall off. And oh my God, they Poppy's sent the dead. whole squad for Thriller. Can he get the ulti off onto 
few of them maybe. I was just going to get taunted up. And they ulted right before the taunt. So he's going to get taken down. And wait a minute. Slappy Joe says, I don't care if I was behind. I'm now level up, buddy. And I'm coming for you. He's got the Blade of Exile, the Wind Slash coming in, the damage, all of it coming through at once. And they're just going to be able to take him down. Baron not up for another two minutes, but they're on to the... Oh my god, he goes in with the Flash! But it's a lot of return damage. Great exhaust coming out from Akan. Heartbreaker is going to force out the Flash from Kazooks. No, no. Who, who flashed there? It was like flashed. Heartbreaker but that was like was in, to get in. The, so I don't know. Slappy Joe, though. The, the flash in onto the Nami and picks himself up another kill after getting that bot lane inhibitor turret. And they are looking to end this game ASAP. And they are on to the mid lane inhibitor. Oh, the flash, the Grand Ninjas, the quickness, the damage, Shifu, gonna get taken well, down. They have a 5v3, they've got the minions. This could be the end game push to take them to the losers bracket finals for a chance at the grand finals, but it's not over just yet. Spooky gonna take Slappy Joe into the death realm. The blade colors there, 